Hi everyone, my name is Ray, and today I wanted to talk about my Nitrum cosplays that I wore to SAC Anime Summer 2014 this weekend. I'm still exhausted, so I'm sorry if I sound totally out of it. But um, anyway, so yeah, I'm going to talk about my Tavros horns and wig that I wore on Friday, and that I wore to the Friday Homestuck panel, which I was on as Tavros. Obviously, I was on the panel as Tavros if I was wearing Tavros. Anyway, and also, during the Homestuck meetup, I was the summoner, so I'll be talking about that wig and that and those horns. So first I'll be talking about Tavros since he's smaller and he came first. So um, the wig is the Rufio wig from Arda because I got it because it um, comes styled and it's a perfect Tavros wig. So yeah, unless you want to actually shave the sides of your head and c paint them gray, then this is a great wig so you don't have to worry about cutting and styling a mohawk wig because that's a big pain in the butt. So yeah, it's on that. And then the horns themselves, I'm only going to talk about this once because both nitrum horns are made during using the same method, summoners just bigger. So um, for the horns themselves, which they do come off, I just don't want to take them off because they're a pain to take off and put on, even more so than summoner, because I made them in a weird way. Um, the base is expanded polystyrene foam, which basically looks like styrofoam. But I got in a huge sheet from Home Depot because I had to make both these and Summoner from the same type of foam. And I have a bunch left over for whatever other horns I want to make. I take commissions. And, um, or other props that I want to make, I guess. But, um, yeah, so it's expanded polystyrene, which it's foam, so you have to cut it using a hot wire, either a foam cutter, which is a hot wire that stays hot, and you can just cut all the way through. It's probably easier, but I didn't want to buy a foam cutter, so I had to use a piece of wire and a blowtorch and just heat up the wire and cut through, heat up the wire, cut a little more, keep going around. So yeah, so once you get that, you're just gonna have a block, basically, that's sort of horn-shaped. And then you have to, of course, sand it, which you can either use sandpaper or after... Since I was in a rush, I started using a an electric little handheld mouse sander thing. And yeah. And then there was that. And then once the base was done, I painted about three layers of... What is that? three layers of wood glue or PVA over this to prime the foam and then to make it actually hard and sturdy and glossy I put on a about two to three layers of polyurethane resin which essentially means I plastic coated them and I think it was called Smoothcast 65D. Yeah. So, you have to be really careful with that. I plastic coated my fingers about like five different times. <laughs> Please wear gloves. Please don't be stupid like me. And it dries pretty fast, so um, you will ruin brushes no matter what. Use cheap brushes. And, um, yeah. That's all I have to talk about for that. And then for the paint, I just got some paint that is used for, some spray paint that's used for plastics and just sprayed it, which was so much easier to get the gradient with. So I'm happy with that. Um, they're not perfect, but if I want to, I can fix them at some other point. But yeah, and then, so these do come off, but they're attached to, okay, so for Fanime, 2014, I had another pair that was made using foam and paper clay, which I decided were too heavy, and I wanted to redo. But, um, yeah, so they were made with that, and I was in a rush, so I didn't have enough time to go get, um, uh, long screws to put through like normal people do. 
So I cut a comb in half and glued those to a headband I made using Wonderflex. So that's how those are stuck on there. Since they're so small, I don't really ever take these off. So they're staying there. They're not coming off of this wig. And yeah, so I think that's about all that I can talk about with these. And yeah, so I don't, I didn't have to prime these because um, the glossy finish was gotten, was reached with the plastic coating. So they got, they're just automatically glossy and pretty. And yeah. And the paint I used has a primer in it, so I didn't have to prime the um, the resin before I painted it either. So now I guess I'll talk about Summoner. So first I'll talk about how I attached it to my head, the wig, and then I'll move on to the horn, which really I can't talk much about since I already talked about how I made Tavros horns. So, um, oh, but first, before I do that, I just put the sweatband around my neck that I wear with the horns. Because once this is on my head, this won't fit over that. So, um, bleh. Oh, I itch. So, yeah. Um, the wig, I got a random, it's like a Suomikoto wig on eBay. I don't know, I just, show, I just searched short red wig. I was, I think I was searching like Leon and Axel wigs. And I found this, and it was perfect. It was. It used to be basically the, all the length of this mohawk on top. It was all that color. But as you can see, the sides are black because what I did is actually sharpied. Like, I took a sharpie and I colored the wig because, honestly, nothing else would stick. And that's what my friend who did Rufio did, so that's what I decided to do. And yeah, I didn't get it perfect because I was literally sharpening it at the con. Like, I was finishing sharpening it, so there are still some red spots. But it looked it looks good from far away and, like, in photos, so I'm happy with it. And it was cut, actually, right before I went to the meetup by my friend Lauren, who is Tumblr user Showed a Tear. So thank you, Lauren, for cutting my wig again. Thank you so much. But yeah, and then after I did that, I put it on top of the base that's inside it, which since it is attached, I can't show you the whole thing, but basically what it is, is a welding helmet base that I got off eBay. So um, yeah, basically what it is, it's basically a plastic thing that goes all the way around your head, and then there's a headband part that's attached that goes across here, so it completely covers your head and it's very secure. And then on the sides were two little, like, pieces that attach, like, little nuts of the, t you could attach a face thing for welding that, so it would, like, move. So I popped out the nuts, and so there were two little, like, inch, um, pieces, I guess, where the nut was. I don't know how to describe it. That were on the sides, and that's where the PVC is attached. And this PVC is actually an inch. So this connector pretty much fit perfectly. I just added some glue. Once this was inside, it, I poked that little piece that's attached that used to have the nut in it through the wefts and then glued that there so this is forever attached. And yeah, I am going to break these off at some point and replace the wig because he is supposed to have three mohawks. I just didn't have the time to style it, so I'm going to be con commissioning Lauren to be remaking my wig for me because, yeah, she'll do a better job than me because I'm not really known for <laughs> being able to style wigs, and she is. So, um, yeah. So, PVC and headband and wig. And then what I do is I, with great difficulty, slide this on my head, and my wig cap is still packed, so you will probably see blonde hair sticking out, and honestly, I don't care. So you slide that on, 
and fix it up and whatever. Do whatever it is you do. And then after that, basically, so that's the horn made with the same method, except it was more rushed because I literally finished the horns in the morning. I left, I plast I basically plastic coated and painted them the morning I left, which is why I was saying that they were wet at the meetup, because they actually were wet. This one isn't wet, the other one was wet. So and I think it is still wet, so I have to fix it. But yeah, so that's that. And basically I drilled I hand drilled holes in the bottom here that is exactly that long. So they just slide on which I can't put on by myself but they slide on over here but and actually I realized when I got to the con that these are too heavy for this so it basically sags like that much so that's why I was holding on like this and to fix that what I'm going to be doing is tying fishing line around the tips of both horns so it's just tight enough so they are held together and are held up and yeah, and that's how that goes. And the reason why I have the sweatband on is to cover this because the wig is up here and this is down here on my forehead. So I basically just covered that using the sweatband. Like that. And I had a wig cap and it was gray, so you couldn't see that. No, 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 I don't know why I'm playing with this. I'm taking this right off. But, yeah, so that's how I did my summoner horns. And I think that's the only questions that people asked. I'm sorry I wasn't able to answer the people's questions who asked me at the meetup, but honestly, these are very heavy even without the horns. The horns themselves are actually really, really light when you're just holding them. But once that and these are on your head, pressing down on your head, it's really painful. It's why I left so early, it's why I came late and I didn't really talk to anyone there and why my friends were there protecting me because I, for one, I couldn't move myself because I would end up hurting someone or hurting my props or hurting myself and I was also in pain so yeah so these are not something that I would suggest someone doing if they wanted something that they could wear all the time this is really just for shoots and like a couple meetups where I want to look cool. <laughs> and um, I think those are the only questions that people ask about my cos about my Nitrum cosplays. But if you do have any other questions, then you can go ahead and leave them in the comments below, or you can send me an ask at my Tumblr, hellagaze.tumblr.com. And yeah, I hope I answered all your questions. Or if you want to ask me or talk to me in person about things, ask my advice or whatever, I do go to conventions all the time. I'm going to be at SAC Anime Winter. I go to Fanime. I'll be going to a few cons, so if you see me, say hi and stuff, and you can ask me questions. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys, I hope I answered your questions. And thank you all so much for your compliments and things. And I think that's all I wanted to say about the nitrums, so, yeah. Bye.